Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being, into addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we want to hear from you. We welcome your phone calls at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about formulations or ingredients or something you may have heard about or read about, 844-236-6010 is our number. And if you want to join the Brightside Ben team or Brightside Ben, uh, start yourself a longevity business and join the Brightside Ben team, you can call 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Or you can head to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. If you want to check out our truth skin health products, including our retinol 5% gel, if you're dealing with thinning skin or hyperpigmentation, dark spots, acne blemishes, or if you want to prevent the signs of accelerated aging, you want our truth retinol 5% gel made with retinol as well as vitamin C, never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, water, wax, oil, silicon, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. You can find out all about them, as well as our Truth Skin Health blog at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. We're talking connective tissue. We're talking building connective tissue, fibrosis, hyaluronic acid, collagen if you're dealing with arthritis, vasculitis, polyomyositis, sensitive skin, scleroderma, lupus, dry skin, heart disease, Alzheimer's disease, diabetes, cancer, pretty much any long-term, you're not getting better, you're gonna be on this medication for the rest of your life type of illness, the take-home message is, you are by definition dealing with a connective tissue problem and likely fibrosis and in order to get better, you don't need to know the name of your illness. You can ignore your diagnosis. You can simply focus on the matrix. Focus on the extracellular matrix. Clean the matrix. Use nutrients that help repair the matrix and that includes protein and slimy substances like seaweed and noni and fucoid Z and hyaluronic acid and minerals like zinc and magnesium, of course, glucosamine and control and bone broth and bone broth protein and you you can't make connective tissue of course without vitamin C or as I like to call it vitamin C T and by the way vitamin C has got some pretty powerful anti fibrosis benefits just on its own and by the way this whole discussion that we've been having on connective tissue for the last three or four months is not just about disease. And it's not just about the connection, the uh, connecting all the parts of the body together. It's not just about movement. It's about the aging process itself, which is largely a connective tissue phenomena. As we age, our connective tissue gets stiffer. We get harder. Our connective tissue gets harder. And just part of, this is just part of the aging process. You don't have to have a frank disease in order to be dealing with this, this kind of problem. And this fibrosis, this hardening, this sclerosis affects all three of the major components of the connective tissue. The cells that make the connective tissue become hardened, 
The cells are called the fibroblasts, also the myoblasts or the osteoblasts. Pretty much if you hear the word bla or the suffix blast at the end of the word, you're talking about a connective tissue making cell. As we get older, the cells become hardened. The cells become less functional. The cells become less able to do their work of producing the connective tissue. All disease is cell disease. Aging is a cellular phenomena itself. With accumulated damage over the course of time, the accumulated damage caused from sugar, cigarette smoke, toxicity, air pollution, nutritional deficiency, low levels of oxygen. Over time, the fibroblasts and other connective tissue making cells start to break down. The myoblasts, the cells that make muscle, start to break down. The osteoblasts, the cells that make the connective tissue that we call bone, starts to break down. By the way, the effects of aging on the osteoblasts is what gives rise to the condition known as osteoporosis. And this is one reason why you can take all the calcium you want, and you may not make a, 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 a wit's bit of difference on the strength of your bones. Americans are among the highest per capita, uh, have among the, the highest per capita intake of calcium in the world. Finland, Sweden, the United States, we take, these are three of the most uh, highest, in, three countries that have the highest intake of calcium per capita, and we, along with the Swedes and the Finns, have among the highest rates of osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is not a calcium problem, folks. We get this idea, oh, make my bones stronger, I'll take calcium. And by the way, it's not an estrogen problem either. If your doctor's recommending estrogen pills, hormone pills, to make your bones stronger, he needs to go back to, to uh, biochemistry 101. Osteoporosis is an osteoblast issue. It's a cell issue. The cells aren't doing their business, like all health challenges. According to a Yale University study, African Americans who consume on average more than 1,000 milligrams of calcium per day are nine times more likely to experience hip, hip fractures than their, uh, uh, than their counterparts in South African blacks whose daily calcium intake is less than 200 milligrams. Reading from the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism, idiopathic osteoporosis. Idiopathic means we don't know what causes it. Idiopathic osteoporosis is the osteoporosis blast to blame. Researchers concluded, yes, the osteoblast, the cell that makes the bone, is the problem when you have osteoporosis. It's not a calcium issue. You're not going to make your bones stronger by making, taking more calcium. In fact, you can take too much calcium. And if you are taking calcium, make sure you're using magnesium and make sure you're using vitamin K with your calcium. In fact, I think vitamin K is just as, if not more, important than calcium when it comes to having strong bones. And it's not just the cells, it's not just the connective tissue cells that are implicated or that are affected by the aging process. It's also the jelly material that those cells are bathed in, the matrix. The matrix is composed of sugar, it's composed of saccharides, technically polysaccharides, not the kind of sugar that we eat, but polysaccharides, long chains of sugar, and sugar protein complexes called proteoglycans. The polysaccharides and the proteoglycans have a water trapping ability and the combination of these proteoglycans like hyaluronic acid, we've all heard of hyaluronic acid, chondroitin, glucosamine, the combination of these substances plus water creates this jelly material that has powerful electromagnetic properties. And this jelly material has to be maintained if it's going to be able to do its work of electrifying the cells, of feeding the cells, and of oxygenating the cells, and of detoxifying the cells. And by cells, I'm talking the fibroblasts, the osteoblasts, the myoblasts, the cells that make the connective tissue. This point is so, so important and underappreciated. The gooey substance is the key player in the health of the cells. We always say all disease is cell disease, but you gotta have this gooey substance in order to feed the cells, in order to oxygenate the cells, in order to electrify the cells, in order to inform the cells, in order to communicate to the cells what's happening in the body environment and what's happening in the external environment. The external environment impacts this jelly substance, which in turn impacts the cells. And by external environment, I'm talking about the outside the body environment. I'm also talking about our thoughts and our emotions. Yes, our thoughts and our emotions impact the jelly substance, which then impacts the cells. Understanding all of these concepts reveals the utter intellectual and biochemical bankruptcy of the so-called medical model, modern medical model. All right, 
I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll take a commercial break and be back right now. We are back on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. We'll get your calls in our next segment and try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible at 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, anything we're speaking about here today, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, if you want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to join me in my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, start a longevity business, make some money helping change the world with nutritional supplementation, please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. You can also sign up right off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. From the uh, American Journal of Physiology, maternal obesity has harmful effects on both fetal development and subsequent offspring health. It turns out that moms who are obese, pregnant moms who are obese, can actually have babies or uh, babies that develop fibrosis in their heart. That's kind of weird. Mothers have a serious obligation. Mothers-to-be have a serious obligation when it comes to the health of their fetus. You can impact the, your fetus for the rest of your baby's life, for the rest of your fetus, for the rest of the fetus's life after the baby is born, after your fetus is born. You will impact his health long term. Even something as simple or, or seeming as something as seemingly benign as being overweight can have an impact, according to this study anyway. Maternal obesity induces fibrosis in the heart, uh, in the fetal myocardium, in the, in the uh, heart muscle of fetuses. This fibrosis issue is a serious problem, folks. There's no aging, there's no disease, there's no chronic long-term degenerative problem that does not involve fibrosis. And when I talk about fibrosis, I'm talking about fibrosis of the gooey substance. The gooey substance becomes hard. This gooey substance that's made up of glucosamine and proteoglycans and hyaluronic acid that feeds the cells. This is the the, the underlying cause of cell, all disease is cell disease. The underlying cause of cell disease is a fibrotic, gooey, clogged up extracellular matrix. And understanding this concept reveals the utter silliness, the craziness, the stupidity of this modern medical model that thinks drugs and surgery and radiation are the answer. All disease is cell disease and all cell disease involves a clogged up toxic, fibrotic, hardened, sclerotic, dysfunctional matrix, which by the way, itself follows dirty blood. I know I repeat myself all the time on this program, but repetition is reinforcement. And what we are discussing here represents no less than the cause and the cure for all chronic degenerative disease. And I don't want to say cure, the reversal of all chronic degenerative disease can be facilitated by understanding what we're talking about here today. I don't like the word cure. Cure is magic. And doctors hate the word cure. You're not allowed to say the word cure. You go to jail if you say the word cure too much. There's no cures. There's reversal. The body is a a healing system. And disease is not a noun. It's a verb. Disease is really diseasing. Nobody has diabetes. We're diabetesing. Nobody has fibrosis. We're fibrosing. Our disease processes are verbs, and understanding the nature of a verb, understanding the nature of the process of disease is the secret to dealing with it. Processes can be reversed. All processes are reversible in the body. All processes that involve the disease, that involve disease, the disease process itself is reversible. Patch the gut, reduce the sugar, clean the blood. And this is not a medical issue. Chronic degenerative disease is not a medical issue. If you're frustrated by your lack of progress or if your doctor has told you that you're never going to get better, and I hear this all the time, you're never going to get better, you're going to be a ward of big pharma or big medicine for the rest of your life, this information that we're talking about here today that we've been talking about for months and that we've been talking about since this program began and that I've been talking about since I started doing my presentations represents your key to freedom, to freedom from medical tyranny, to freedom from from health tyranny. One of the most important roles for this jelly substance, this extracellular matrix, this goo, involves the nervous system. 
and that makes supplements that support the jelly substance important for addressing brain diseases, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, as well as movement disorders, nervous system disorders, multiple sclerosis, ALS, amyotropic lateral sclerosis, Lou Gehrig's disease, Bell's palsy, to name a few. The importance of the goo the extracellular matrix, the jelly substance, when it comes to these these kinds of nervous disorders, nervous system dis, nervous system disorders, is why high aluronic acid is such a valuable supplement. It's good for so many different things. It's like a must-have supplement, high aluronic acid. It's not it's not a mighty 90 essential nutrient. It's not in this when it comes to its importance. It's not uh, it doesn't have the same kind of importance as vitamin C does, or or uh, uh, vitamin K, or vitamin A, or minerals, or uh, essential nutrients. It's not one of the mighty 90 essential nutrients, but it's good for so many different things. And the high aluronic acid we take in orally can be converted and utilized into high aluronic acid for our extracellular matrix. Most people recognize the importance of hyaluronic acid for the skin, but because it's, of its integral role in the health of the matrix, all cells depend on hyaluronic acid. And that means uh, for anti-aging, that means for bone health, and that means for the health of the nervous system and the brain. Using hyaluronic acid supplements may facilitate neural conduction for all kinds of nervous system disorders. From the journal Neurology, July 2010, quote, regulators of hyaluronic acid expression may affect epi uh, epileptogenesis, that is seizure disorders, and cognitive functions in animal models of aging and Alzheimer's disease, unquote. In the article, the authors of the study showed that their uh, concluded that their observations point to the mechanism by which high aluronic acid regulates neural uh, synapses, neural synapses in the central nervous system. And they stated that when high aluronic acid levels are abnormal, they can deregulate essential functions that cause pathology that is common with neurological diseases. Use hyaluronic acid supplements if you're dealing with any neurological health issues, if you're dealing with any cognitive health issues, if you're dealing with any issues, or if you just don't want to be dealing with any health issues. And of course, you'll get hyaluronic acid in bone broth, you'll get hyaluronic acid in our bone broth protein, and you can always supplement with straight hyaluronic acid, which is readily available. Once we understand the construction of the body, the raisin bread nature of the body, this all makes sense. The cells are the raisins, the extracellular matrix is the bread, the bread feeds the raisins. This all makes sense when it comes to disease, this all makes sense when it comes to the aging process. It makes sense when it comes to the health of the skin, when it comes to the beauty of the skin, when it comes to the appearance of the skin, and it, come, uh, it, it will make sense when it comes to the health of the organs, the brain, the muscles, and the bones. This extracellular matrix, this gooey substance, is made up of slimy sugars, slimy proteoglycans, polysaccharides and proteoglycans like glucosamine, chondroitin, hyaluronic acid. It's also made up of collagen fibers and cells that secrete them. And it electrifies, it feeds, it informs, it oxygenates all of the cells. Once this extracellular matrix becomes fibrotic, once this extracellular matrix breaks down, all disease ensues. And by the way, that includes cancer. Cancer itself is largely a fibrotic condition. It's an extracellular matrix condition. So while all disease is cell disease, all cell disease begins with a defective extracellular matrix. We have control over that extracellular matrix, and via that control, we can control the health of the, of the cells as well. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We will return right after this. All right, we're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages, brightsideben.com and pharmacistben.com. If you miss a program, they're all, uh, we've got the search engines at brightsideben.com, also benfuchsarchives.com. Of course, you can purchase products off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. We've got blog posts as well as news stories on our websites and all the Longevity products. And you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the websites as well for a one-time $25 fee. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can uh, start yourself a Longevity business, and I can help you build your business as well. Uh, call 866-735-2470 uh, if you want to talk to a real live person, 866 
866-735-2470, or you can sign up and purchase products right off the websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com. And if you want to purchase our skin health products, our Truth Skin Health products, Truth Retinol, 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and Truth Balm, they're all up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All my truth treatment formulations are made with vitamin C, lots of it, fat-soluble vitamin C, the kind of vitamin C that really works, and really quickly, by the way, if you're dealing with age spots or thinning skin or dry skin. Topical vitamin C is your go-to active ingredient. You need high doses of it, and that's what you get in our truth treatment products, 25% to up to 70%, up to 80% lipophilic fat soluble vitamin C and of course if you use our truth retinol 5% gel you'll also get 5% retinol never any preservatives fragrances fillers wax oil water silicon nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any any of our truth treatment truth treatment products you can find out all about them at truthtreatments.com okay got lines open 844-236-6010 if you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today or a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with nutritional supplement questions questions about the longevity products or longevity business if you have a success story you'd like to share or if you want to contribute to the conversation 844-236-6010 is our number and i've uh, got no calls here so now's the time to get on board if you haven't been able to call or if we've left you on hold in the past now's the time to call a couple stories i want to tell you about here this is from uh medscape published in the journal biomedical research international use of sgl2 diabetes medicine that is uh, uh farziga and invocana these are the latest ways that doctors and um, the medical model treats diabetes which is an eating disorder period end of story all you gotta do is change the way you eat and your diabetes will go away or your diabetes will reverse because it's a verb it's not a noun according to this article which was uh, published in uh, biomedical research international taking NSAIDs Motrin Naproxen NSAID stands for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs taking these kinds of drugs with Farsiga and with Invokana may cause kidney problems may cause renal injury no kidding according to researchers taking these kinds of drugs could potentially lead to hypoxic acute renal injury kidney disease I'm telling you, folks, this isn't going to show up on the, on the uh, package insert because it's not a problem with the drug. It's a problem with combining the drug, so-called polypharmacy. Many people over the age of 65, some 50% of folks over the age of 60, 65 are on multiple medications. And when you take a medication, you'll get, to, if you read the package insert, and we should all be reading the package insert when we're on, on taking medication, you'll see the side effects for the medication, but what you won't see is side effects from taking multiple medications because nobody knows the side effects from taking multiple medications. What you also won't see is the toxicity that's associated with just cleaning out the drug. Not a side effect that's associated with the medicine itself, but toxicity that's a result of nutritional deficiencies nutritional resources that are expended by the body to detoxify and perhaps that's why according to the journal of the american geriatric society older adults who take many medications have a higher risk of becoming frail and again this has nothing to do with any particular medication this has to do with the body losing precious resources detoxifying itself cleaning itself out this is so important taking a drug puts a burden on the body above and beyond the side effects and toxicity associated with that particular drug. If you are on a long-term prescription drug, your number one health challenge should be to get off of it. That's the only thing you want to be focusing on, and don't let any boneheaded medical professional tell you you are stuck with that drug the rest of your life. Not only is that not fair, not only is that ignorant, it is evil for a medical professional who is in a position of authority to condemn you to being poisoned by a prescription drug for the rest of your life. And I, when I say poisoned, I say that advisedly. I'm not saying that hyperbolically. It's a poison. And how could anybody think, let alone a medical professional who's supposed to understand how the body works and how health works, how could anybody, especially a medical professional, think that you could be better off by taking a prescription drug, by staying on a prescription drug, or by staying on multiple prescription drugs for the rest of your life? It, it just, it's mind-boggling. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to... 
Bob in Minneapolis. Good morning, Bob. Welcome to the Bright Side. Hey, good morning, Ben. Um, you, you had mentioned about uh, reducing fibers or fibrosis with, uh, I believe, uh, you know, you just mentioned today, I believe, vitamin C, and I think you've also mentioned pancreatic uh, enzymes. enzymes. Yes. Um, how about calcium deposits? And in particular, I mean, over and above just on tissue, but um, in addition, um, um, bone spurs, can you reduce? Yeah. Is there any method a person could use to actually yes. reduce or eliminate bone spurs? Yes, bone spurs are caused by calcium deposits. Now, calcium deposit, calcium will deposit as a repair mechanism following a bro- broken down tissue, broken down matrix. So the key to dealing with bone spurs is to strengthen the matrix. Does that make sense how I explain that? You've got this, this jelly substance and all the cells are embedded in that jelly substance. When the jelly substance starts to break down, the body will attempt to patch up that jelly substance. That's what fibrosis is, and that's what calcium deposits are. Now, if your cells are dying, they will spew out their calcium, and that can compound the problem, but it all starts with this broken down extracellular matrix. It's pretty much everything. Pretty much everything that's a problem in the body starts off with this broken down extracellular matrix. Now, the time it takes to reverse the bone spur, you... I can't tell you how long that will take, but your job if you're dealing with bone spurs is to strengthen the tissue so the body doesn't have to deposit fi- uh, calcium and the body doesn't have to put fibers in that area. The combination of fibrosis and calcium deposits is what deals to this hardening. And anytime you have hardening, whether it's a bone spur or whether it's a, a, a fibrotic condition of the heart or in the brain, anytime you have this kind of hardening, you're looking at the body's attempt to repair the tissue. And that's why using high alcohol Hyaluronic acid and vitamin C and, and uh, uh, pancreatic enzymes, etc., can have such a beneficial effect. Enzymes are more about breaking up the fibers more than repairing the tissue, repairing the matrix, but they can still be beneficial. Uh, bone spurs and, and bone spurs are where you, are, are a type of hardening that you notice because you're walking on your foot, especially if it's on your foot. But you ha- still have that kind of hardening in your heart, and you have that hardening in uh, in the brain, in the nervous system. You have that hardening in all the soft tissues, in the kidneys, in the in the liver, in the in the uh, adrenal glands, in the various tissues of the body, we feel it more in the in, in the foot, obviously, because you're walking. But it's the same basic mechanism. Hang on, Bob. I got to take a break. All right, we'll finish up when we come back. Don't go away. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll take a commercial break and be back right after this. Back on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products or longevity business or anything we're talking about here today, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Bob in Minneapolis. You there, Bob? Yes, I am. All right. So bone spurs are, represent a uh, an attempt of the body to repair itself. Bone spurs, by the way, go hand in hand with arthritis. In fact, that's the major cause of bone spurs is joint inflammation and joint br- a breakdown of the cartilage, which is an extracellular matrix problem. Do all the things we've been talking about here today uh, in terms of building the connective tissue, glucosamine, hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, bone broth protein, bone broth, um, zinc magnesium. We're going to talk about a whole bunch of nutrients that you can use for the connective tissue. Think of arthritis. Think of building the extracellular matrix. Does that answer your question? Yeah, well, except that I have a second question, but uh, yeah. with, with in regards to bone spurs, Yes. Okay, so it's not unreasonable then to expect the complete elimination of the bone spur Correct. if you're diligent about Correct. Uh, your, Correct. Your, your, you know, with your uh, matrix. Yes, correct. Build the matrix. And by the way, if you have bone spurs and your extracellular matrix is breaking down, it's not just breaking down in your foot or your knee or wherever the bone spur is. It's breaking down everywhere. It's breaking down systemically. So all of the strategies are going to help save. They're going to save your life. They're going to prevent you from getting cancer. They're going to protect your heart. They're going to protect your nervous system. And they're going to keep you living longer. Does that that make sense? So you don't want to look at the bone spur itself. You want to look at the, the entire systemic extracellular matrix. Okay, my second question. Yes, sir. When it comes when it comes to DEEK vitamins, DEEK. Uh, vitamins or uh, yeah, DEEK. Yes. Or uh, or uh, minerals that require uh, fat. Yes. For absorption. Sounds like you've that... been listening to the program pretty well. That's good. Yeah, I, like I have. Good deal. But the absorb 
the absorption you're speaking of, uh, yes. what the combination does the combination of those vitamins and minerals with the fats uh, occur in the bloodstream or in the stomach? In other words, if a person happened to be, I mean, very diligent about uh, their diet and taking in very good fats, but there happens to be a day where they're, um, you know, take let's say their deep vitamins on an empty stomach, yeah. is that a waste or? No. No, not at all. There's, when we talk about absorption, we're talking about several forms of absorption. Number one, absorption into the blood through the intestine. All right? That's the, that when we talk about absorption, there's absorption into the blood. Then there's absorption into the cells. Those are two different types of absorption. When I talk about using, uh, taking your, uh, your DEEK, your D, vitamins D, E, A, and K, your fatty vitamins and your minerals with things like a lecithin or bile salts or your ultimate enzymes, making sure you're absorbing fats, what I'm talking about is getting those nutrients through the intestine into the blood. Once you have intestinal breakdown or liver problems, you're not absorbing your fats, you're not making bile, you have pancreatic, uh, pancreatic issues or stomach issues. All of that is going to compromise the movement of, uh, or the, the removal of nutrients from foods and thereby compromise the, uh, uh, the entrance of those nutrients into the blood through the intestine. So the first thing you want to do is break the foods up appropriately so you're releasing those minerals and the, and the fatty vitamins. And that requires uh, stomach acid and, and pancreatic enzymes and bile salts. And then you've got to facilitate the movement of those nutrients across the intestinal wall into the blood. Does that make sense? Yeah, well, so, but then does the fat have to help move it across yes. the intestinal wall? Yes. The fat, okay. the fat, no, 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 no. The fat will stimulate the production of bile. The bile, oh. the, what you want to do is you want to have a bunch of digestive juices. You want to have a bunch of bile and you want to have hydrochloric acid. You want to have a bunch of stuff going on so that the, the, the nutrients can be removed from the food. You know, nutrients are trapped into food, especially vegetables. Minerals are very difficult to release from vegetables. This is why, another reason why supplementing and why using Beyond Tangy Tangerine and liquid supplements can be so helpful because it's like they're pre-digested. The bile will improve. you got to have a, a fully functional functioning intestinal wall, if you have celiac disease or Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, that's going to compromise the movement of nutrients into the blood. But even before that happens, you got to release them from the food, and that's where the bile salts come in and the digestive enzymes, et cetera, and apple cider vinegar also, and liquid okay. nutrients. So long right. as you have a as long as you're having a, health, a healthy intestinal wall due to your uh, strict good diet, then I'm taking vitamins like that on an empty stomach for on a particular day because of uh, your schedule. You're still benefiting from those vitamins. A little bit less, but probably you'll still get some benefit. But it's still helpful to have some digestive juices going. Okay. 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 Good. Good to talk to you. Thanks, Bob. All right. Let's go to uh, Joe in Tennessee. Good morning. What's up, Joe? Okay, okay, yes. Hey, Forrest, Ben, good to hear your voice again. I've been listening to your program for a long time. And to everybody that. out there, yes, to everybody out there, Forrest has been knows more than any other, anybody else I talk to. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you a lot there. I appreciate that very much. I appreciate that. And, thank uh, you so much, Joe. I use a lot of that for my family. I won't go to a doctor unless I've got to for some injury or something like that. And, and we just really... Really have used the products you recommended. I really appreciate that. But the uh, the Truth Skin, uh, Truth Health products there, the skin products. Yes. There's a lot of Amish and Mennonites, and I'm a Mennonite. Okay. That we don't have internet or or uh, or email or anything like uh -huh. that. And if we had a phone number, we could call in to order these products. You know, the only problem, let me tell you the problem with that is uh, I have a, I, I'm laboring under a non-compete, unfortunately, and my non-compete claw, my non-complete, non-compete contract limits me to selling only products on the internet. Uh, if you go to the website, or you're not, you can't even get on the website, is that what you're saying? There is a That's phone right. number. There is a phone number that you can call, uh, and I'm, I'm looking, I'm trying to find it right now, and I don't even see the phone number. Um, you know what? Why don't you just keep listening to the program, and I'll get you the phone number here. Not, if not today, I'll, I'll look it up, and I'll get it for you tomorrow. My non-compete keeps me from selling things not on the Internet, but my non-compete's up okay. in July. So after July, you'll be able to, it'll be much easier to get the products. But I'll get, it, I'll get you the phone number here uh, tomorrow uh, or, or sometime in the next couple of days as soon as I can dig it out. Yeah. I, I'm looking on the website. It's not even on the website. You're, you're right. I'm the worst marketer okay. on the planet. I'm a good pharmacist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the worst marketer ever. Oh, well, right. you got your information right on on the nutrition. I really appreciate that. And we may not have time to talk about it today, but two more subjects that I was wondering about was uh, I'm hearing about magnets, 
understand the beneficial magnets. Or the magnets. Did you, yeah, yeah, magnets. Yeah, magnet. yeah, yeah. I love magnets. There's are you talking, okay. there's a multi level company that was selling magnetic um, magnetic beds and magnetic mattresses and magnetic chairs and things like that. Uh, but but you can still get these uh, magnetic devices. They're probably not all not all of the brands are probably good, but but some of the concept itself is pretty interesting. Uh, and it all involves the connective tissue. It involves the extracellular matrix. There's an electrical phenomena that keeps the extracellular matrix that we've been talking about so. Uh, for the last few months that keeps the the ECM operating efficiently and you can uh, facilitate the electromagnetics of the extracellular matrix with these magnetic devices. So you can't, I know a lot of folks that get benefit from them. Does that help? Is that what you were asking me? Yeah, very good. And then sometimes I'd like to hear a little more about detox. Talk about it some, but I'm a little bit foggy on how to detox. Fast is the best way to detox, is to stop eating for a day or two. In fact, everybody benefits from intermittent fasting once a week, once every 10 days, a couple of times a month. And one of the main reasons is it allows the body to detoxify itself. Then there's nutrients that you can use to facilitate detoxification, phase one and phase two detoxification. One of my favorites is something called glucuronic acid or calcium D glucurate, uh, especially if you're dealing with estrogenic problems. A lot of women are dealing with excess estrogen, a lot of men too for that matter. If you have an autoimmune disease or if you're a woman with menstrual problems, using calcium D-glucurate is a wonderful way to detox from estrogen. Also bile salts will help you detox from estrogen and also a probiotics. And, and when I say detox from estrogen, of course, I also mean detox from other things too. Uh, if, because if you uh, use probiotics and bile salts, you'll also get detoxification from uh, from prescription drugs or illegal drugs and also heavy metals. And that's another problem associated with prescription drugs. They stress the detoxification system, particularly bile. So if you have a gallbladder issue or a liver issue, uh, you're more, more than likely also going to have an estrogen issue, and this can be compounded or made worse if you're using prescription drugs. All right, uh, thanks for your uh, comments and questions, Joe. Appreciate it, and thanks for the kind words, too. All right, let's see if we get yeah, one more you, call. In. Thank you, buddy. Let's see if we get one more call in. Dwayne in Montana. Anna, good morning. Yeah, this, yeah, hey. Um, I, I, well, I have high blood pressure, and um, and my, my, my doctor told me to cut up, all, cut all of the sodium, and I'm sure you've been over this before. It's so what silly. I did was I went to a spice that um, to cut out all the high blood pressure. But is there any salt that I can use? And I'm sure. Yes, yeah, so you don't. Don't worry about salt. That's the least of your problems if you have high blood pressure. Think sugar, number one. Think bodily stress, especially from foods. It's the same thing that we always talk about here. Now, there may be some kidney issues, as we've, we've said in the past, but right. also the main thing you want to focus on is blood sugar and insulin and digestive health issues. This whole thing with, uh, about salt is silly, nonsensical medical memory. It's a medical mean. It's not is true. Salt that I can t- is there a salt that yes, I can Yes, get, get uh, uh, Celtic sea salt, or if you okay. want to avoid the sodium entirely, there's uh, salt substitutes that you can get. I don't remember the, the names, but you can find them in pretty much any grocery store. But you need sodium. I don't like this. Yeah low sodium idea. Yeah, they, well, they told me to totally cut out the salt. That's why I was asking that question. Yeah. Well, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Use Celtic, Celtic. sea salt. All right, I got to go. Okay. We only got a couple seconds. Thanks for listening, okay. friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.